This video is sponsored by Cricut. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today we are doing a one day dining room makeover. It's gonna be stressful. Let's get started. Okay, so a stat was just brought to my attention. Amanda, what was it? 57.7%. 57.7% of you watch these videos week after week and are not yet subscribed. That's a lot of people. It's a lot of percentage, you know? So please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really enables us to keep making these videos bigger and better. I really, really want to get to a million subscribers, so please, Hit that subscribe button. Okay, this week we are making over the dining room that belongs to Alessandra on our team. <laughs> you guys may remember she lived in that really cute studio apartment that we made over. Her and her boyfriend, Matt, just moved into a new home and they need help with their dining room. So let's hop on a call with them both and see what is working for them and what's not working. I'm so excited to be doing this for you. Matt, um, I'm sure you know this already, but like Alessandra is the angel of the Team AG office. <laughs> Always so positive, so warm and caring and loving. So thank you. She, she's the angel of this office too. So, so yeah, it's pretty similar. <laughs> Not surprising at all. Okay, so Alessandra, you know how this works. I just want to talk about the dining room, what's working, what's not working. I know you guys literally just moved in two days ago. Yeah. So I know that it might be challenging to like talk me through what's working and what's not working, but tell me about the dining room. Tell me about the space, how you envision using it. Yeah, I think we have like a very good sized room. Matt and I like hosting dinner parties. So like we can fit a full size table and like eat like six people in here. We painted it before we moved in and we're pretty happy with how it flows into the living room as well because there's a doorway opening into the living room. We immediately had to change the light fixture because it was full of crystals. Plastic crystals. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Plastic mm. You know those? Oh, I do. So we changed it just for like an Ikea pendant light kit and then there's like a lampshade on top of it. Functionally, you have a really large kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. But are you going to be storing anything in the dining room or is it purely just going to be a space for like a table and chairs? Probably a space for table and chairs. I mean, we like pretty minimal mid-century design. Like if anything, there'd be a table, maybe like a hutch or floating shelves or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Kind of unit, I don't really know. But like something that we could just use mostly for either displaying books or like, I don't know, decorative items that we have or like serving where whatever, but it's less so for practical support. yeah exactly got it we love the idea of like a bench on like a side of the table instead of chairs yeah like it doesn't all have to match it could be a bench that you can actually like lift and move you know you could bring it to the living room for extra seating it doesn't need to be like built into the space exactly yeah that's great i'm excited that we can just kind of lean into the decoration of it alessandra i don't know if you heard me yesterday but I like gasped when I saw your inspo because it's so beautiful and... You were talking about mine? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize. I don't think we've ever really worked in this style in a makeover before, but like it's a style that I love and really appreciate. There's a lot of like interesting shaped chairs in your inspo, kind of mixing like light woods with darker woods. I think Matt and I like lots of different wood tones and like he said, mid-century kind of style. But I think we also like decor that we can like layer colorful touches onto, like not so much adding color through paint and like more permanent changes, but decor that we can switch in and out, like cushions, vases, that kind of stuff. We like to change yeah. the easy stuff. That makes a lot of sense. It's like really setting you up with a super neutral base that you can layer on top of as you actually move into the space and like live in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, the lights you've pinned are all very similar, that kind of like rice paper shade. Yeah, we love the soft lighting it gives. I had them in my old place and it's just a nice way to add light and warmth to the room. How do you feel about rugs in a dining room? I yeah, like. definitely yeah. Good. Okay. We have a pretty bold rug in our living room. That's true. If we put a really powerful rug in the dining room, I think it would just clash with the one that we have in the living room, just because it's such an open space and you would see both. Got it. But we do like rugs. Yeah. 
great. I feel like this is really straightforward, but am I missing anything? Is there anything else I should know? <laughs> Matt? No, not really. I think we both really trust you. Matt watches the channel too, so, yeah. you know, we love your work. <laughs> Big fans. <laughs> Matt, it's so nice that you watch the videos on your, like, own time. Chris's info is very in line with style that is very trendy right now. It makes me really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, thanks so much, guys. I'm really excited. Thanks for trusting me. Thanks for doing this for us. It's like a really cool experience moving in together. We've told all of our relatives. But... They're all super jealous. <laughs> yeah. Super jealous. <laughs> I'll see you at the office. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Later. <laughs> Bye, guys. Alessandra and Matt's inspo is very clear. They love a minimal aesthetic, Scandi style, lots of neutral, muted tones, almost no color, and lots and lots of wood. So here's what I'm thinking. The walls have been freshly painted Swiss coffee by Benjamin Moore, which is the color that's all throughout their home. It's a creamy kind of off white with yellow undertones. So we're gonna keep the wall color as is. To make this space feel cozy and warm, I want to mix and match wood tones. So doing a dining table in a kind of smoked oak, something that's a little darker, not quite walnut, but skewing darker brown. And mixing and matching that with a lighter toned bar cabinet, along with some exposed shelves. And then I want to just bring in tons of neutral tones, but lots of texture with all the accessories and subtle pops of color here and there, which is why I'm going with this reddish brown Moroccan rug. It has lots of clean lines, but it's going to bring in that coziness and that warmth we're looking for in this space. I also think this rug really complements the rug in the living room, which is a hard rug to match because it's so colorful and so busy. And I really want these two rooms, the living room and the dining room, to work together and flow really nicely. To start this makeover, I am going to DIY some cute veggie napkins using my trusty Cricut. I am in my craft era. What can I say? I've made so many things with my Cricut, including wall decals in my old apartment. These were so fun. Personalized outdoor pillow covers and cute tote bags. I even use my machine for calligraphy on envelopes when I'm sending letters to my friends and family. Cricut makes smart cutting machines. It's able to cut designs into over 300 different materials like burlap, canvas, cotton, felt, and linen. You are seeing me do one project today, but trust me when I say you can tackle almost anything on this machine. It really is incredible. The great thing about Cricut is that you don't need design experience. You can truly learn as you make, just as I have throughout the years. To start this napkin DIY, I'm finding the design I want to use on the Cricut design space. The cool thing about the design space is that there are thousands of images you can use for free. Now that I found my cute little veggies, I'm bringing them into the Cricut design space and resizing them to the size I want them for the napkins. For this design, I wanna print and then cut them on my Cricut machine, so I'm choosing that option within the design space. For this project, I'm using a sheet of the Cricut printable iron-on for light fabrics, and I'm placing this in the printer. Now I am printing my design. Now that that's done, I am putting it in the Cricut Maker to cut. Now that my veggies are all cut, I'm weeding out the design. and placing it on my napkin. I'm using the Cricut Heat app to figure out what temperature I need to put on my Easy Press. Now that it's heated up, I'm pressing my design onto the napkin. I'm repeating this process for all the napkins. These are so cute. I'm really impressed with how these turned out. And honestly, it was not hard to do at all, which is why I just love the Cricut. You can make anything and everything so fun.
Okay, we have one day to make this dining room come to life. We gotta get going. Let's head to Alessandra's. Hi guys. Welcome to the dining room makeover. It is day one. Also happens to be the only day. It's the early morning. We gotta get started. Gotta hustle. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is bring in some boxes, start unboxing product, and just get started. Here we go, unboxing the rug. Yup, yup. Look how beautiful this looks. This rug is from Afrakesh on Etsy, straight from Morocco. Oh, wow. Oh, Graham. A bracelet. A bracelet. Graham loves to wear all sorts of jewelry. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. There you go. Like that That's nice. pretty, that looks good on you. The thing I love about a Moroccan rug like this is that the more you walk on it, the more you like use the rug underfoot, it gets more lived in. Moroccan rugs just like age really, really nicely. This beautiful dining table is from Article. I love the name, Smoked Oak. This feels very like we are in a dining room. This is a dining table. It's solid. Okay, so Alessandra and Matt had mentioned that they really envisioned shelves somewhere in this room, and I thought that this wall was the wall for shelves. See, right in from the living room, I wanna put lots of beautiful things on display. So I asked Graham to make some curved, long, floating shelves. Let's roll Graham cam. To make these shelves, Graham picked up three two inch by eight inch by eight foot Douglas fir planks from our local craft lumber mill. High quality hardwood planks are gonna be quite expensive to make these shelves out of. So softwoods like fir, pine, and cedar are great economical alternatives to make floating shelves out of. You'll often find that lumber isn't always straight and is usually curved or warped. Because Graham's plan is to glue three boards together, he's first squaring up the boards using his jointer and thickness planer so that they are all the same thickness and straight. He's gluing all three eight inch boards together. Graham is cutting the big board in half using a table saw. He's plating them a little bit to flatten them down precisely to one and a half inches thick. To round the edges, he's cutting out the shapes using a jigsaw. Graham is now using a belt sander to sand the rounded ends and using a router with a round over bit to round the top facing edges. He's using a chamfer router bit to angle the bottom facing edges to give the shelves a little bit of character. He's filling in any cracks or holes with some color matched wood filler and is sanding the shelves down using 60, 150, and 220 grit sandpaper. Graham is now using a straight carbide router bit to carve out a channel on the back of the shelf for the floating shelf brackets to sit inside of. Finally, he's using linseed oil to seal and protect the shelves. Okay, I'm trying to figure out the height of these shelves and I need all hands on deck. That's looking good, guys. Stand by, I just need to step out here. Ooh, those look so good. Okay, the top one needs to go down a bit though. Perfect. The only thing I'm concerned about is the light. Like, this is stunning. This was the vision, the style, but a little bit big, bigger than you anticipated. It is gonna block all the it's gonna block all the shelves. <laughs> We're hanging the shelves with these floating shelf brackets. These are similar to the Ikea Lack Shelf if you've used it, loved it. The difference is these aren't attached to each other, so you can put these directly into the studs to make sure your shelf is extra strong. So next, Graham and I are gonna drill the holes into the shelf, so then we can connect the shelves to the brackets. First shelf, going up. Woo! Oh. They have this nice curve, which makes them like not as predominant, but still like such a statement. Okay, so back to this light. <laughs> it's a little big. I really wanted to go statement with the light. I really felt like I wanted it to be a moment. This one is just a little like, what did you guys say? We girl boss too, too close to the sun. Alana and I think something may have just gone awry in our 3D floor planner because in our 3D mock-up, this looks like a great size. <laughs> 
<laughs> in real life, it's like half of my body. Let's let's see what it looks like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful though. The other option is that it's just wooden fabric, so we could use like an X-Acto knife. Oh, <laughs> no? And cut. Cut? With scissors. And do what? Like cut it in half? Yeah, I don't know. Oh! Oh? <laughs> oh? Oh, because then you still get the light bulb hanging down. Okay, can you hold it up like this? Did I? Um, it's kind of cool. Mm, it looks like a hat to me, like. Oh my God, you've used lights that look way more like hats than this one. This isn't gonna work. Um, we have a similar light to this at the studio. It's rice paper instead of fabric, so we're gonna lose that texture. That's what happens sometimes during these makeovers. We have to problem solve, we have to find a solution, and I think that this light is gonna be that solution for today. So I'm gonna take this shade down for now. Alana went to grab the light from the studio that we have to replace this one with. So while I'm waiting for the new shade to arrive, let's bring in the most beautiful bar cart. It's a stationary bar cart. This is not a bar cart, it's a bar cabinet. My apologies. Let's see those muscles. Hold on, I'm gonna like... <laughs> This is my contribution. Okay, so the bar cart, as you can see, is going on this wall. It's not a cart. Sorry, bar cabinet. This bar cabinet is from Sundays. Fun fact, they offer free delivery and free assembly. Their pieces are just amazing, high quality. Chef's kiss, as Alessandra's doing behind the camera. Okay, so seeing this in the space, I'm actually thinking it needs to be on that wall. I think if it's facing out here, you'll be able to walk in this way and make a cocktail or walk in this way and make a cocktail. But over there, it just feels like it's kind of cramped. Plus, there's gonna be curtains hanging here. So I just feel like a little too cramped. So we're gonna try it over there. There's also an outlet here, so we can put a cute little lamp. This might move again, but I feel like it looks better here. But let me show you the inside. Look at all the storage in here. Drawers. Bottle storage on the sides. This is so beautiful. And there's so much room in here, but it feels like a very compact piece, which I love. I wanna bring in the chairs. I wanna bring in the bench, just to see how everything's fitting in here. This is a matching bench to the article table. I love benches for dining rooms because they can fit a lot of people and you can move it around for extra seating elsewhere. Gorgeous. Okay, so now that that's built, I'm gonna bring in the chairs. These chairs are all from Rove Concepts. I'm mixing and matching them. Such a beautiful home decor store. Loving all the texture. So very different chairs, but they have the same kind of curve at the top, which I love. Very mid-century modern. This is a great tip if you are thrifting chairs. You might not always find a set of four or six, so mix and match. It adds to the style. Now that the chairs are in place, I'm thinking the bar cart will live in this little corner. Oh yeah, sorry, bar cabinet. <laughs> Out of the way, people can walk in this way, make a cocktail, walk in from this way. The table has its moment. Okay, moment of truth, changing the light. What do we think? I think it's great. I think it's great. Yeah. Really? Size is perfect. Size is perfect. Yeah? Okay, let's see. Oh? It's actually perfect. Whew. <laughs> Sorry, I can like breathe out now. So I don't know what we would have done. So I'm gonna hang the curtain rod behind this bulkhead so it's hidden. That's gonna make the ceiling look way taller than it is. And the curtains are gonna cascade down. It's gonna be beautiful. These curtains and curtain clips are from SoCo Living. You guys know I'm such a fan of SoCo Living. If you live in Toronto, go visit their store on Queen West. It's stunning. Okay, so these are actually tablecloths, which is so fun. They sell them at SoCo Living, so you can get this very casual look. You can change the length of them really easily. I don't like how I folded them out. I wanna fold them in. So we're gonna do it again.
Something wasn't working when I was folding them. You can see on this side, it just looks really messy. So I'm just gonna try clipping the tops without the fold and then hem them at the bottom because they're quite long right now. Two hours later. Two hours later. <laughs> The curtains are hemmed. We just used a bit of Ikea hemming tape. Great product, it's like a dollar or something. Easy way to hem your curtains and they look so great. Now I'm moving on to styling these gorgeous shelves. I always love to start styling a shelf by stacking some books. Other things to layer on open shelves are sentimental items. I'm placing these vintage cameras that belong to Matt and Alessandra. A great rule is to decorate in clusters of three. You've probably heard this before. It's because it works, so I'm doing that here. I'm also styling with functional items like plates, glassware, and bowls. On an open shelf, put your like most prized cups and plates and bowls on display. I'm filling in any gaps on the shelves with decorative items like decor, baskets, and plants. Layering on an open shelf is key to add depth and style. Okay, we're nearing the end. I'm gonna hang a couple things on the wall and then we're gonna move to finishing touches. This beautiful art piece is by Calm Art Studios on Etsy. She is so talented. We've used another piece of hers in a studio apartment. This organic wavy mirror was a home sense find. Okay, we're taking the drop cloth off the table. We gotta hustle and do finishing touches. Placing this lamp on the bar cabinet for some ambient light. Placing a few bottles and a candlestick, putting down four placemats, adding a plate to each place setting, and adding the napkins I made with my Cricut on top. Placing three mustard bench cushions from Nylot Looms on Etsy. And finally, adding this vase from Victoria Ceramics Shop on Etsy. How beautiful. We did it, we pulled it off. It's time to bring Alessandra and Matt in for the reveal. Don't open. Not open. Okay. So, walk me through what your dining room looked like before. I mean, it was pretty barren. There was just like nothing on the walls. Yeah. I don't know. Lacked any of our personal style. Yeah. I really had to like rein myself in for this one because we had to go minimal, Scandi. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, on the count of three, open your eyes. One, two, three. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. You guys outdid yourselves. Really nice. <laughs> did you make these napkins? Yeah, I did. They're really <laughs> cute. Wow, these chairs are really nice. Aren't yeah. they beautiful? Look at the carpet. Yeah, the carpet's really nice too. <laughs> With the lines and everything, it matches. It's so cozy. I can't wait to have the team here for dinner. Yay. <laughs> oh my god, look at the shelves! Oh wow. I love the light. Yeah, too. this is really nice. That's so perfect. Oh my god. I love how big it is too. I know. I like that little lamp a lot. That's so cute. Oh wow. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Aww. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Thanks again to Cricut for sponsoring this video. In a couple weeks, we'll be back with a dark and moody office makeover. Think like dark academia, floral wallpaper, rich, dark colors and tones. If this sounds like something you would like, hit that subscribe button. So you'll get notified when we upload a new video. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye. Matt, we have plates now to serve people. It's true. <laughs>
We eat dinner here every night. I was wondering that. Are you actually going to eat here? Oh, yeah. absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we love okay. to have dinner at the end of the day together. That's oh. Of course you do. <laughs> I know. I want to smash your head. I know. <laughs> Smack them so against so the wall. I know.